Today, I have gotten first place at Locals with Supreme King Melodius. I will be showing you how the deck looks like, and if you want combos, then get this video to 10 likes so I can make a dedicated combo video for Supreme King Melodius. Let's get into it. Now we're going to start off with the Supreme King package over here. So here we have three Dark Worms. Usually we used to play two. Now we're boosting this up to three, mainly because we have Nibiru in the deck. So we want to be able to uh, use the Nibiru and then normal summon this, then link it off. So you're able to get a uh, plus one off of the search, plus a link two, which is super nice for this deck. And what you're going to be searching off of the Dark Worm is the Gate Magician. So we have Gate Magician here. Honestly, uh, this card's busting in the deck for the fact that it is a light monster. So you're able to activate its effect on scale, destroy it, place it on the extra deck, place the uh, gate zero that is right here. Then you're able to pendulum summon the gate magician out uh, because it is a light monster and Melodious have the uh, you can only pendulum summon light monsters lock. So very relevant. And of course, you know, Gate Magician is, is pretty much a way to search yourself another Gate Magician or a Light Worm or anything there. So you're able to have a bunch of options for combos. So it's very nice. Then uh, we are playing Double Light Worm. We have Light Worm mainly because of the fact that this card is really good for the grand game. And honestly, uh, the fact that uh, this, this deck uh, struggles a bit with having grand game, this card comes up so much. So the fact that if a uh, pendulum monster is destroyed while this is in the extra deck, you can add it back to your hand, which is such a relevant effect because it just makes, you know, games more winnable. Because if someone destroys your scale, you're able to summon this, add back either the Dark Worm or the uh, Light or the Gate Magician, and you, then you scale it, which is super nice. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much why we play it. And we have uh, Wings of Light. I like Wings of Light. This card's cool. This card, pretty much, uh, you search it off of the Gate Magician, so you're able to uh, uh, search it, then get uh, effect, search another Gate Magician, which is really cool. I like it a lot. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the reason why you play it. Uh, you could potentially play Dream because it could play around Joel. If you if you search a card and your opponent Joel's, you could chain Wings of Light and then search search for Joel. That's pretty much the like the reason why you would play Dream. But I'm currently playing two because I wanted more hand trap space. Okay, next up. We have the Melodious package. We have three Refrain. Refrain is a really good normal summon as well. However, you're probably going to be using this for the main combo, which is the Ostinato combo. And now we are back to triple couplet. Uh, last video, I did choose one couplet because I wanted to play more hand chess. However, uh, the only bad part about doing that is the fact that if you draw a couplet, kind of screwed. So um, so having the tree is very nice because you get to uh, play around a lot of things and having this plus like Dark Worm is really nice. So drawing this isn't that bad either. We have the Melodious, Melodious, I can't speak words. We have Melodious Concerto. Now we can search that off of the couplet, which is a very nice card. And um, if we summon all these things to Osnato, we're able to uh, make Absolute before our Pendulum Summon, which is super nice. Then we have the Triple Ostinato. Uh, I've been mentioning this card, I should have shown this card first, but uh, yeah, we're playing three of them. Uh, this card's insane, and uh, yeah, that's. I don't think I should explain what Ostinato does. It's just it's his brand of fusion. <laughs> this card's probably gonna get hit at some point, so uh, uh, time to get ready. So we have Dragon Shrine uh, to send the Dark Worm, and we have Foolish Burial to send the Dark Worm as well. And uh, also, if you notice, this this Foolish Burial is in Spanish. And Diego insensato very epic <laughs> so uh we're gonna be playing some uh some hand traps here so let's get into the hand traps we got ash blossom ash blossom is insane right now mainly because it can negate the either you can negate the tract you can negate the requiem so it comes up a lot it's very cool and uh yeah it's ash blossom they have such a relevant card for all of you here at this point we got Nibiru the Primal Being. You're playing Triple Nibiru. Uh, okay, some people disagree for the fact that Insev can still make the the like Wave King High Caesar, which honestly, uh, you could just Nibiru them before and their board gets weaker, which is very nice. But uh, still, uh, you get a uh, nice little advantage thanks to that, and your opponent has to deal with a Nibiru token, which uh, you know can be good, can be bad, depends on the hand. So uh, let's let's see what happens. But drawing this alongside a hand trap is always very powerful. So I like to play Nibiru. We got the Imperm, triple Imperm. 
it's this one doesn't need explanation it's imperm uh imperm's always good so uh yeah that's pretty much it uh yeah we got more hand traps we got effect Weather does the same thing as imperm however it can get be, be called by the grave but we're also playing this for uh as across the destinator target so uh it's very nice then we have basically all magna hud and we have Bissio Jewel Swarm. So the main reason why we're playing the Bissios is because we can banish Fiendsmith cards thanks to this. So it's really insane. So you're able to uh, just banish the uh, the uh, the Lurry if your opponent controls a monster. And if they don't control a monster, you could just banish the, the Fiendsmith uh, Engraver. I always forget the name. But yeah, you banish the Engraver, you summon the Bestio. And if you summon Magna Hut, then you're able to search a... A dragon monster at the end phase. You can either add the bestial or you can add dark worm or you can add light worm. Depending what situation you're currently at, it, it's really good. So just search either of those two. Uh, also, if you search the, the Jewish worm, then that's very nice because you're able to uh, just out the your opponent's board a bit easier. Okay, next up we have Rossal Designator to be able to use all of these targets right here. Very nice. That was a really bad like uh card 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 swipe, but you know, whatever. It's fine. But yeah, we have Crossout Destinator for that reason because we don't want to get Nibiru. So we love to play Crossout Destinator here. Then we have Call by the Grave for so we can you know if your opponent draws join Lockbird does I was I I messed up the name but yeah join Lockbird you're able to banish this and. Uh, triple attack this just in case if they do stop our turn we get to look at their hand and shuffle one back or maybe we could draw two cards if uh if our opponent just leaves us without resources or maybe take a monster and uh, the take a monster effect did come up i was able to uh steal a a Prometheum princess which is uh very epic because my opponent had a very simplified war state and they needed that Promethean. so we just uh <laughs> i just tribute over it using uh a couplet which is really funny to me so, so like i stole a Promethean, like tribute summon the 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 couplet because i can't special summon but i can still normal summon and uh yeah that was very epic that was very funny that is it for the main deck now to get into the extra deck first we are playing to be on the pendulums yeah we're out of uh Appaloosa here so uh we're making just another beyond just in case of our opponent negates our first beyond we're able to summon a card off of the bacha and we're able to just summon another beyond the pendulum because guess what uh, the first effect is not a once per turn, so uh, that's very, very nice, very nice. So if our opponent negates it, we just like keep turboing out to try to get our search. Uh, though sadly, uh, whenever we do, probably we're gonna be losing the Nibiru at that point. But uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. But uh, if we can make uh, absolute before before that, uh, we just end up making beyond, but without make using the effect, which is super nice. So we're able to get our negate. And then be able to pendulum summon. So we're also playing the Haggard Lizard Dose because this card's very important if you are playing the Beerium Melodious. They're able to just uh, link, link, make a link to summon this, tribute it off, draw a card. Then you're able to activate your Osinato or be able to activate your Dragon Shrine to send Dark Worm if you want to do that, uh, which is super nice. Then we have IP Mascarena. Then SP Little Knight. This is pretty standard. Uh, I have a feeling that IP will get banned in the next ban list at this point. So uh, you know what? I'm, I'm expecting this card to be changed at some point. But uh, we probably would still be playing SP Little Knight no matter what. But uh, because it's such a good removal card. But uh, it'll be a bit awkward. But still, good cards, good cards. Then for our only Link 3, we have Exceed the Pendulum. Exceed the Pendulum will just, you know, pop off and be able to make the access code thanks to that. Uh, usually you are going to be ending on the Exceed the Pendulum on field, which is very nice. So you're able to just like summon back the Gate Magician that uh, you sent off of the ab Absolute effect. So uh, yeah, you know, you're getting more pluses, you're getting follow up. And uh, the access code is just to win games. It's always so weird to uh, to say, oh, the only Link 4 I'm playing is Access Code Talker. Uh, I I'm going to say this a lot, but... Uh, I, I, Appaloosa felt very like, like into my brain already. I had that program in my brain to be like, oh, access code and Appaloosa. Now it's just access code. Access code is just sad and alone. So for XYZs, we have Baguska. Baguska's a really nice card. It's insane against you, Bell, mainly because uh, they have to draw a, a Gravesquirmer so they're able to out this. 
So, or maybe just like a way to make Phantom or Ubel, but they'll be wasting too many resources at that point. So, Bogusco is insane against Ubel. I recommend using it very often against that deck. We have Salute Dragon. Absolute Dragon summons the Vortex. So, that is why you're playing it. The Odd Ice XYZ Dragon, oh, uh, sorry, Odd Ice Rebellion XYZ Dragon is being played mainly because it is a target for the Gate Magician effect that you will be sending this off of. Then you're able to uh, summon the Gate Magician, which is very cool. Then we have Typhon. Typhon is just a really good uh, card that, that helps a lot with outing boards. You can play Seuss if you want. We have Ignister. Ignister is just a really good card to be able to shuffle back cards or you're able to summon the Majesty and search any field spell from your like extra deck or side deck. I mean, so you just like you just side in one of one of these two cards plus the Majesty. Then you're able to just search any of these two, which is very relevant. Then we have the two botches. Very simple. You're able to uh, summon the first botcha, then like from the Ocinato, then you're able to uh, Melodious Concerto summon summon this one. Then you're able to make the Absolute Dragon off of that. Then you like link it off. Then you link it off and then you're good. And the final card is Vortex. That's pretty much what you will be making off of the, the Absolute. And uh, that is it for our extra deck. Let's get into the side deck. Okay, so first we have our combo that I already showed off. We have our good old Floodgates. Ah oh, yes, I love them Floodgates. So Majesty. Uh, you summon off of the Draco Sire, you're able to search any uh, field spell from your deck, then discard one card. So uh, I usually would search the Secret Village because Secret Village is insane against most sexes format. Insane against Yubel, uh, against uh, Fiendsmith, uh, like Fiendsmith Snake Eye is really good as well because your your opponent is not able to to, uh, to do much. And if you summon IP Mascarina and if they summon the Diabel Star, you're able to just banish you know, just banish it by by going SP, then then banish the the Diabellus star, and they lose. It was very nice. The acrobatic hasn't come up. Honestly, I've I've been studying it for a long time. It hasn't come up yet. You can play Zombie World if you want, but uh, but I have Necrobatic just in case because Necrobatic is such a like it has a wide amount of weaknesses for uh for other decks. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep it in. Why not? We have Dark Cooler No More, which I'm playing three of. There it is. Okay, we have three Dark Cooler No Mores. This card is really good this format because your opponent is storming the field with monsters. So you just start putting no more of them. Then you start playing your board, then out their com board completely. So you make sure they don't have any follow up. You're playing for back row removal, triple caustic cyclone. Then you're also playing the Harpy Feather Duster. Uh, yeah, these are back row removal. That these are good. These are good back row removal. So, uh, yeah, caustic cyclone is still pretty insane right now because you're able to just target target any of uh, the Fire King Island if your opponent's playing uh, Fire King Snake Eye, which uh, if it does get the the new card, it, it may be very relevant because you you, you kind of want to get rid of that. Playing the one triple Texas Talents. Uh, I'm playing a second one because I wasn't sure what to put in this one spot. So I was like, ah, sure, I'll play another talent just in case it didn't come up. But uh, you know, the other, the other talent came up. That was like in a game one situation. But yeah, it's good. Uh, this card really came up. We have Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Oh god. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I can't explain why I play this. But uh, it is... Uh, I went to such high light points my opponent couldn't beat me. So it was pretty much a situation where they were like, Okay, well then, I guess I guess I can't do anything about it. Let's go game Let's go game 3. Uh, yep, that, that's that's what happens. And we have Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is a good card. I, I honestly was, was citing it mainly because I didn't have much space for the uh, for to play Bogusco in this, and I really wanted to play two Beyond the Pendulums. So you could potentially, if you want to play this in the side deck or in the extra deck, I mean, you just like take out a Beyond the Pendulum and didn't play this. So that's your option. But I honestly just decided to cite it because it didn't come up as much for me to be like, okay, I need Dweller in my extra deck. Bogusco came up way more. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Pendulum is still alive, kind of, but we're we're in a very rough spot. And the next video will be a Pendulum Magician deck profile. Yep, uh, I was able to get second place at a locals Pendulum Magician, so uh, very excited to share that video. Uh, like this video so I can make the the combo video that you guys want. 
Oh, well, if you guys want it, better said. And uh, yeah, that is it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Sky like, comment, and let's go.